How do you wish to plead the murder in the second? Guilty? Yes, sir. We're in Saginaw, Michigan, where 51-year-old Steven Sanderson just pled guilty to the murder of another inmate inside a state correctional facility. Ten months earlier, Sanderson, who was already serving life without parole for the 1991 murder of his girlfriend, attacked and strangled his 67-year-old cellmate. He says he did it for a very specific reason. The reason I killed him was because he was a child molester. His cellmate, Theodore Dyer, was convicted of first-degree criminal sexual conduct in 2014 for molesting a nine-year-old girl who lived next door to him. He was my bonky, and I had found out that he was in prison for uh, child molestation, a really bad case. So um, that night, he was trying to justify why he did it, and I just told him to be quiet, and he would have to leave in the morning to find a new cell but he continued to talk about it and try to justify it. So he was a little bit bigger than me, so I got down and I hit him in his face a few times. And when he fell, I wrapped a cord around his neck and I took his life. As a formality of his guilty plea, Sanderson's lawyer then confirms the basics. But you didn't uh, kill him. Oh, sure. And you intended to kill him. Oh, sure, yes. Two weeks later at sentencing, Sanderson's matter-of-fact demeanor continues as he addresses the public response he received following the murder. Since this all happened, it's kind of been, people think I'm some kind of hero, but I'm actually not. Um, I just, you know, did what I thought was best in the time that I was given. I don't feel bad for what I did, you know? I feel bad for maybe the families, his family or so, but as far as remorse towards him, no. Sanderson then claims Theodore Dyer's real judgment is still to come. I've been getting these emails saying that, you know, it's not my position to judge anybody, and I want to make it quite clear that I didn't judge him. You know, I know God is the only judge we have. I've just set the appointment up. Without comment, the judge then issued Stephen Sanderson the maximum penalty of an additional life sentence to be added to his previous sentence of life without parole. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.